Welcome back to the YouTube channel of Deep Academy. Uh, this is Satrugh Nechalathia. Today I am going to discuss 22 question number 22, uh, which is uh, comes from IIT Jam MS 2022. So uh, we will discuss this question. This question from you can say that this question comes from uniform distribution and uh, uh, we are having this question x1 x2 and x3 be independent random variable independent and identically distributed random variables having uniform 0 1 distribution then expectation of ln x1 by ln x1 x2 x3 whole square equals so we are having xi we are having xi follows uniform 0 1 before solving this question we will uh, see some results which will be used in uh, solving this question tw number 22 so result 1 some useful results first if x follows uniform 0 1 then we can say that minus ln x follows exponential 1 similarly for this question we can write here x1 means ln x1 follows exponential 1 means we can say that gamma 1 in similar manner uh, uh, the eidetic property of this exponential distribution we can say that if x if x1 x2 x3 xn follows exponential 1 then sum of xi follows gamma 1 n so we can say that uh, summation of here we can write here if x follows uniform 0 1 then sum of i from 1 to n xi follows gamma which parameter n so uh, this two result is uh, just similar we can say that and the third result this is called uh, uh, we can say that this is a theorem in the distribution theory chapters also if x and y are independent gamma variate with parameter with parameter m and n how we can say here i i d means in independently identically distributed so this is just a, uh, the theorem if x and y are independent gamma variate with parameter m and m and n then the statistics you can say that x plus x by x plus y follows beta 1 with parameter m and n now we will use uh, these three results for the solving this question number 22 and now we are going to start we have to find expectation of ln x1 
by x1 ln x1 x2 and x3 to the whole square and now we can uh, we will extend in the form of this uh, minus ln x1 and this form and after that uh, we will try to change in the form of x by x plus y so that we can use this uh, third uh, theorem also so here we can write here expectation of minus ln x1 divided by minus ln x1 x2 x3 by taking uh, minus both um, both term uh, in numerator and denominator if you will multiply uh, for a negative point so there is no any difference so we can uh, write easily and now if you will let minus ln x1 is equals to x and minus ln x i i from 2 to 3 why because uh, i am going to transform in the form of uh, this uh, result so we can write here expectation of minus ln x1 divided by minus ln x1 minus i from 2 to 3 ln xi there is no any difference between these terms so we can write from this one to this one and now we can write expectation of x by x plus y whole square and uh, here we can say that uh, x follows x follows a uh, minus ln x x1 follows exponential 1 means we can say that gamma 1 so we can say that x follows gamma 1 and y follows gamma 2 why because uh, i from 2 to 3 means uh, i am adding uh, two terms only so that the parameter will be 2 so from the result so we can say that x by x plus y follows beta 1 with m and n parameter m is just 1 and n is 2 so we can say that m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 now we can write and now we, we can uh, take another name so that we can write easily so we can name uh, as z so expectation of z square now we have to find this one and uh, we know that the result variance of z is equal to expectation of z square minus expectation of z whole square so we can also write that if we want we have to find expectation of z square so we can write is equal to variance of z plus expectation of z whole square we can write easily and now and uh, we can also say that we have some result beta 1 with parameter m and n so we can say that expectation of uh, if uh, we know that the mean mean of distribution or expectation of if we will write x then expectation of we have taken already so expectation of t is equal to m by m plus n and variance of t is equals to mn 
by m plus n plus whole square by m plus n plus 1. Now we will uh, use this result for finding this expectation of z square means we can say that variance of z uh, we will write here m by m plus n. So expectation of t means uh, from here we can also say that expectation of z we have to find then expectation of z from this formula we can write m by m plus 1 m is equal to 1 1 by 1 plus 2 means 1 by 3 so we can say that expectation of z is equal to 1 by 3 and variance of z is equals to mn 1 into 2 divide by 1 plus 2 whole square here 1 plus 2 plus 1 n plus n plus 1 so we will write 2 9 into 4 means 1 by 18 now uh, we know that the result uh, expectation of t uh, z square we can write here we can write in the last term so expectation of z square here we can uh, variance, uh, we can put variance of z and expectation of z whole square then we can get easily expectation of z square so variance of z variance of z is 1 by 18 and plus uh, 1 by 3 whole square so we can write expectation of z square is equal to 1 by 18 plus 1 by 9 so we can solve here 18 1 plus 3 by 18 means the final answer will be expectation of z square is equal to 1 by 1 by 6 so we can check here this is the answer and uh, from here we can say that the option a is correct thank you for watching my video thank you